Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here in Singapore at HP's Cool Town, and I'm here with Des Yi, who's going to talk about the history of Cool Town, how it got started, and uh, you know what, what purpose does Cool Town serve? Okay. Well, Jake, thanks for having me today, and thanks for recording this. Um, basically, Cool Town started back in 1997, and the whole idea, the whole idea behind that was really was all a HP Labs vision, and it looked at nomadic pervasive computing, so mobility. So how we can use mobility, you know, 10, 12 years ago, which really didn't use the services and what we actually have today with our devices, you know, web browsers and various things like that. Okay, so can I interrupt just a second? Sure. So when you guys were envisioning uh, what mobility would look like mm -hmm. in 1997, mm -hmm. how much of what we have now actually came to pass? I have to tell you that I can play some of the videos from the old Cool Town visions that they created some 10 years ago, and they are pertinent today. And they have certain devices and applications that look exactly like we had today. It was like Nostradamus in HP Lab created this vision, which really came true today. Uh, I wish you could continue it on. <laughs> but you know, today we are the last cool town in the world and the most successful. And I guess that I've got to attribute to that to because of the constant evolution that we have in here. Every six to eight months, we constantly evolve the environments and the experiences. And we do focus on experiential environments. So the customers come in here and they get to experience the day in the life of the patient. They get to see technology such as cloud computing in action and various other gamuts of that to really th allow them to think that their minds are to apply and apply to their own business how they can use different technologies to improve efficiency and overall business objectives overall. So when you say that you, you want the customers to think about applying different technologies, of course, you're, I assume you're wanting them to apply HP technologies, not just any technology? Well, this is true. Um, definitely, obviously, uh, HP technology being uh, one of the ones the leaders in the industry. But you know, it's, it's not that. It's actually to look at the business reason behind it, the need behind a need. So this environment here focuses not just on you know, cloud computing or personal systems or imaging and product divisions. It focuses on the whole portfolio, and it focuses on bringing the right partners in to actually physically make an industry vertical solution for that specific customer's business objective. So what we're doing here is actually look at um, you know, how we can bring all the appropriate ecosystem, the partners in, and the technology in, whether it's obviously HP preferably, but not necessarily, to really allow them to progress their opportunities forward, right? That's what we want. So can you give me an example of, of like a, a customer type that would come in here and, and sort of the, the process they would go through? Sure, okay. So typically, um, every customer that comes through here is an enterprise customer or a, you know, what they call a global account or an inbound account. Someone like, you know, a multinational company that's spread all across the world, head office in the US is called inbound. So typically, um, you know, we work with all the account managers and we work with the global account managers to look at what is the exact opportunity that the, that they, the customer is looking at. From that, what they do is engage us and we'll gauge all the subject subject matter experts and all the product specialists, as well as all the actual uh, partners to come in to be here for that specific customer during that engagement. Now what we do in here is we immerse them into experiences, again, to allow them to see how, you know, equitable type of industries are using technology to advance their business. So in, in allowing them to actually consider how they can use technology. Or maybe totally dissimilar industry that they can see how they're using mobility or radio frequency ID, RFID technology, or even you know temperature monitoring you know to advance their technologies or their business overall. And that might trigger an idea in their minds on how they can use it in different ways to improve business efficiency for them. Um, the whole idea about this environment is it's, it's not, unfortunately it's not open for the public. It's really open for enterprise customers because, um, you know, obviously we're not geared to host all the whole public or, you know, the, all the educational institutions that are available. It's typically focused uh, environments where we can bring in subject matter experts, our partners, and the whole objective is to really help that customer create a roadmap or look at different technologies and how they can adopt it and the best way forward. The need behind the need is what we've decided here. So what would somebody do? Like, a, so we've got a, with this big wall of yeah. uh, screens. What, what, what would be the purpose of, of a uh, station like this? Okay, so this one here actually looks at a number of things. It can be unified communication collaboration. So looking at how you can actually bring in your documentation and share and collaborate using video conferencing technology from our partners or HP. In this case, you know, we've got a very good high quality Polycom unit there, which is one of our preferred partners as well. Or it could be uh, Microsoft's, um, you know, basically unified communication services that are actually physically in here. And typically, uh, when it comes to these environments, right, we'd actually show demonstrations on how they can communicate remotely or physically or improve efficiency using unified communications. But in this environment right now, which we can reskin pretty quickly, is actually all about HP software and services. And looking at, you know, if you've got a clouded environment or using somebody else's cloud, the public cloud or a hybrid environment, how do you manage that environment? How do you mitigate the risk? And how do you secure that? So that's what we talk about in these environments, for example. So 
this is kind of the the uh, bleeding edge of technology that, that that goes on here. This is not uh, th things that have been out for years and years that, that you're showing customers. Um, I, I know that um, off camera we we saw some very interesting uh, 3D <laughs> digital signage technology. Uh, what other kinds of things are, are you uh, showing to customers when they come here to try to get them thinking in different ways? Okay. So that's a very good question, Jake. Um, there's about 10% of the technology we show in here are physically you know, prototype technology or visionary technology that may be part of HB Labs or some of our partners that actually really, we mix that match it so that we can actually physically show customers today's state, but also what potentially is available in the near future. And some of those could be around auto, st auto stereoscopic 3D TV, you know, being able to see 3D with your bare eyes. I mean, at the date that we actually had uh, that partner come in was some two years ago. And two years ago, I think stereoscopic glasses, uh, stereoscopic technology with glasses was actually just at the infancy in Asia Pacific, for example. Today, we still see the auto stereoscopic technology where you can see it with your bare eyes, like the 3DS type experience now available on you know 50 inch TVs for public viewing to allow them to physically understand who who's looking at this content what actual gender are they are they male or female and actually if it's for the female audience is it attracting the most females and how long are they looking at this content so then we have intelligence around that which is somewhat futuristic allowing industries or the actual people to create the content to understand yes it's attracting female it's attracting their stare gaze for about 30 seconds which is exactly what we wanted so we look at that healthy mix of technology that actually takes today's state, but also the future state, allowing them to do you know, certain business analytics around that as well. And some of those can be commercialized if the customer really wishes to do that as well. So you can actually help the customer arrive at uh, a solution that they want and then HP can help develop that solution? Uh, yes, we can as well. So we can either um, you know, take existing, uh, what we'll call commercial off the shelf, COTS technology, or we can actually physically get our services division to actually create intellectual property and solutions or applications specific for that one customer. Yes. Wow, very cool. So uh, as the name says, Cool Town is a uh, cool place for HP customers to come and learn. Us. Please do come and visit us. Just talk to your HP account manager, talk to them about the Enterprise Briefing Center and talk to them about Cool Town and we can arrange it. So remember, experiential, we can talk to you about this experience, we can show you managed print solutions, we can talk to you about our Indigo or our printing center of excellence, we can also walk you through an assembly line of our industry standard servers or even non-stop platforms as well. And even more so, we can talk about how HP is really working for the actual environment as well through our planet partner recycling technology as well. Plastics, metals and toxins as well being separated. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Des. Thank you. Thank you very much.